announcements were made in all media to have all the 385 MPs come to Parliament today to consider the Constitutional Amendments Bill 2015. But by 2.30, the House was not yet constituted to two-thirds of the eligible voters of 375 required to amend the Constitution. Deputy Speaker Jacob Bolanya took time to relax as MPs tweeted, Facebook, WhatsApp and read newspapers to wait for the latecomers to come to the chambers. At about 3 p.m., the August House was full to capacity and seats were not enough. Because of the small space in Parliament, the Speaker ordered for a free seating where some NRM MPs sat on the opposition side and ministers became backbenchers. By 2.30, there were 252 lawmakers in Parliament, but according to rules of procedure of Parliament, 250 MPs have to vote in favour for the constitutional amendments to go to the committee stage for amendments. Voting started and out of a total 372 MPs who participated, 290 MPs voted in favour, 33 opposed and 4 abstained. 327. Abstention four. The nose thirty three. The eyes two hundred and ninety. However, the majority of opposition MPs voted in favor of the amendments with few opposed to the bill. General Eli Tumwine, who represents the UPDF in Parliament, opposed the amendments but declined to disclose the reasons for his opposition. You, why, why did you say no to the amendments? <laughs> General. 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 The leader of opposition, Wafula Ogutu, declared that the opposition would not be part of the amendments after a request to consider the minority report was rejected. He declared the walkout of all the opposition MPs, but only four MPs followed him. To be part of the debate, that is not taking care of the interests of the Ugandan. So we shall work. Thank you. Honourable members, the biggest congratulations goes to all of you. I think this goes on the record of this house as the greatest demonstration of commitment in the history of this parliament. The vote to approve the bill was taken at 8 p.m. during the third reading, and 277 MPs voted for, six against, with one abstention. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Parliament.